say given what happened in Eugene? <coughs> Uh, it was re really important for me to come out here at home and win the race and that race was loaded. Uh, there was only sort of uh, three or four guys missing and you know, the training partner came in up, leg out, a uh, few of the Kenyans, so, so the rest of the guys were there. Um, and this guys were really testing me today. Were you pleased with the pace of the race? Do you think it suited, suited you? No, I wanted to run faster, okay. um, but condition wasn't great um, and everybody was just watching each other because they probably think the same thing I was thinking it's pretty hard to run the fast so the condition was really windy How much faster are you going to go before the World Championships do you think? I don't need to run any faster I just need to you know, concentrate the worlds and do the best I can in the worlds and uh, I'm looking forward to it Do you think Monaco will be your fastest race this summer? I'm not sure what I'm going to do in Monaco if I'm going to do 5 or, or 1500 metres but yeah next race will be Monaco Okay. Came down to the final 400 meters. I mean, talk about your kick recently. I mean, is that something you've been developing uh, out with the uh, with the project at Park City? Um, it's something that I have been working for the last couple of years. Yes. Um, you know, and, and, and it's getting there. Um, last week's race and this week's race is completely different. Last week was a lot slower, and it was just important. You know, you win the race and get as many points for your country. Come on, we're heading into the business end of the season now. How would you enjoy being back in the thick of competition after everything that happened in the Olympics and all the stuff off the track, you know, the, the, the puzzles around that? I'm really enjoying it. It gives me good confidence, you know, um, going into every race knowing you're Olympic champion and, and, you know, you have that confidence. But at the same time, you know, I just take my race at a time and forget about everything else. What a week it's been for you, though. Have you had many, many weeks quite like this with so much going on? <laughs> no, I don't, you know. But um, getting my CVE and then going to the Wimbledon, the Royal Box, I really enjoyed that. And then coming here to race, so it's been a busy week, but it's something that, you know, comes along with it. So what, what was the highlight for you? Definitely being in Wimbledon and Buckingham Palace is probably, um, you know, the, the, the things you can't just go and do it. You know, you get invited and you get chosen to do it. How did you find it out in front of the home crowd again? It was a great atmosphere out there. Yeah, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, the crowd gave me massive boost and it was an exciting race. Alberto usually has the guys do a workout after this. So is, is that something that you're up to after? <laughs> no, I was just actually talking to Ricky and saying, have I got to do anything? I haven't heard anything yet. I don't know if he's changed his mind or if he's sleeping. <laughs> Uh, at Arsenal last Sunday. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, that too. <laughs> How was that then? That was amazing too. <laughs> Playing against, um, well, alongside Ian Wright, uh, Tony Adams, uh, Ray Parler, uh, I'm a massive Arsenal fan, was amazing. I just want to open hat representing Sainsbury's. Do you have a guilty food pleasure or something you love to eat after, after you've raced? I just make sure I stay hydrated, that's the most important thing as an athlete and eat well, sensibly. Um, so we saw, I mean obviously Greg Brotherford here as well, Olympic champion. We've seen that buzz that was there a year ago from 2012. It's still very much alive and kicking this weekend and proven that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, once you get that feeling, you get that motivation, you know, you don't just lose it. Um, we seen like someone who say, Bolt, you know, if somebody's won Olympics and then won another Olympics, it's him and it's great for the sport what he's doing and, you know, someone you see as someone as a role model. And for me personally, you know, um, he's, 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 a, he's a legend so in terms of our sports and what we do I really enjoy what I do I don't see this as a job I don't see it as anything else it's generally something I enjoy and going in the crowd putting your spikes on and you so get that buzz are you staying in Europe now Mary? are you going to go out to Park City? I'll go to some rates to stay in Europe okay. okay last question guys please what are your expectations for, for the next few weeks I mean any goals you have in mind? Um, just focus on training and yeah much more. <laughs> Play FIFA now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>